Welcome to CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. Uh, we're joined by Luke Skywalker today. Uh, what I'm are you Jedi wearing? Knight. You are. Well, this is all to uh, let everyone know that this Saturday is Star Wars Night with the Sound Tigers at Webster Bank Arena in Bridgeport. Uh, it's to benefit the Bridgeport Hospital Foundation. And the yeah. players are going to be wearing these jer uh, jerseys. What do you think? It looks a little big. It's a little that, big, but like how little, fun is a, this, right? A bit of a nightgown on Teresa. I mean, very fashionable. But there Look you at go. that. We, we can fit two Teresa's <laughs> It's like a T do, so, I, I don't know, some like R2D2. Oh, I see that, where you're going with that. That's one of the characters. Was, I get confused between not, Star Trek and Star, Star Wars. Trek. Oh my God. So get this though the first 2,000 fans get a free lightsaber at the door. How cool that, is that is fun. The team is going to be wearing jerseys that are going to be auctioned off to charity afterwards. So yep. this is pretty unique. And this is probably the best part it's a $25 ticket package through SoundTigers.com, gets you the game ticket and a movie ticket. To That's watch cool. the new Star Wars film with the players on December 27th. With the players. How cool is that? Rogue yeah. One. That'll be uh, quite the deal. So make sure you guys head on over and uh, check out the game this weekend. Here's what's brewing uh, today. I guess Teresa's going to continue wearing it or is she going to. Yeah, let's yeah. see if we can do a quick change here. Quick change, we have okay. Some video we can go to, yeah, right? Yeah, well, the world's oldest woman just got a little <laughs> more seasoned as Teresa changes clothes here we were on gonna live TV. We're going to wipe the video there. Italy's <laughs> Emma Murano. Wow, if you could only see. Turned 117 on Tuesday, blowing out all the candles on her cake. She's the last person on earth that's actually believed to be born in the 1800s. She's uh, happily accepted some gifts, including her favorite cookies, which she ate with some milk. And then <laughs> she blew out her candles and she said, hopefully, I don't have to cut all this cake here and wow. then after that she had another party with a visit from a local mayor uh, cutting yet another cake that was planned for the afternoon of course after her afternoon nap. Wow that is incredible imagine you hit a hundred and That's then you a have 17, 17 more, more years? years. Yeah what do you do what do you plan for like at that point? your whole life. Yeah hard to <laughs> Plus believe. Plus a hundred years. And, and it's crazy she was born in, in, in the 1800s. The last person born in the 1800s that was. That's that was it her. so God bless her. Wow. All right so you've probably heard of the mannequin challenge by now but this one kind of takes it to a whole new level. Yeah it's a great story during Thanksgiving dinner Sue Marino uh, was taking part in the challenge holding Turn her around, glass Sue. of wine. <laughs> Now who is that? What, what what's happening to her? Well, she didn't realize that her fiance was kneeling behind her with uh -oh. an engagement ring. Aww. Oh, I love it. Oh, the good news that? is she said yes and we love Connecticut connections. She's originally from Weathersfield, but now she lives in Texas. How cool is that? And the proposal has racked up more than 8 million views on Facebook. When I first saw this and, and, and heard about it, you know, because it's like a big trend, I was kind of iffy, like, really, that's how you're going to propose to your fiance? But then when you watch it, it it's really hard. I thought it was great that the whole family was involved. Yeah, that, that is true. It's, it's a very unique way. But how do you explain that to your grandkids in the future? Like, oh, yeah, we got married. We got engaged doing the mannequin challenge. And they're going, the, yeah, the what? The I don't know if it has staying power. See, but still, <laughs> we'll see. Still very heartwarming. All right, so check this out. Two months ago, a man stole a pail full of gold flakes. N not cereal, I right? Not like cereal. <laughs> Frosted uh, flakes. Get this. It was worth more than a million bucks. It was from an armored <laughs> truck, and now this surveillance video is being released. You can see it on your screen now. Yeah. Police say it was a five gallon bucket of gold flakes weighing 86 pounds, valued at 1.6 million bucks. How about that? My question is what the you, guy working, like, don't you think he would? He, he, he had one job. And he couldn't he close the. Yeah, the, well, he the was thing? being distracted. He was talking to the other man. Did you see that? Yeah, I, I did. Maybe that's an inside job. Maybe he's, you know. What do you do with gold flakes? You, you bring him to <laughs> good old Tom's or. I guess so. Sure, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so the next story kind of proves there's always a solution to every problem. Yes, that is true. <laughs> uh, nothing seemed to be able to help Polly the goat with her anxiety until one day when Polly's owner put an old duck costume on her as a little bit of a joke. This is kind of cute. The next thing she knew, the anxiety was gone and Polly was as happy as a clam. Look at that. Clams, Go ducks, goats. We, yeah. got the whole, uh, we got the whole zoo there. The woman later posted the picture online that went viral. Every day I get messages from people saying um, I'm battling depression or I'm battling cancer or I just lost, you know, a loved one and I look at your feed every day and just seeing, you know, these little goats and if they can do it, I can do it. Just a little goat in her lap. How cute is that? So the woman owns a farm in New Jersey with more than two dozen 
goats, all are special needs. Yeah, and, and she plans to expand her sanctuary, which she calls the Goats of Anarchy, uh, to host hundreds of animals. So, oh, so very heartwarming there. Oh, she's a comfort blanket. That's yeah. so cute. Very, very nice. We'll have to get one of those here in Connecticut. And uh, speaking of the great state of CT, today we are cruising Connecticut, uh, and it's downright wicked today, Teresa. Yeah, uh, we're talking about the play, of course. Mm -hmm. It's the ninth longest running show on Broadway, and it's coming to Connecticut. It is, and it uh, kicks off opening night tonight at the Toyota Oakdale Theater in Wallingford, and we're giving you an exclusive backstage look at Loden Day of the show that tells the story of how the Witches of Oz came to be. How many people do you have working here on the set? There's about 100 people working backstage right now setting things up. We travel with 18 men and women, and then we pick up a lot of locals here to get the show in and out. Now, with such a big production, how long does it take to, to set up the, the actual set? It's two and a half days, and when we pack everything back up, it's about five hours to put everything back into 11 semi-trailer trucks. This is expected to be the, the biggest show in the entire history of the Oakdale, which is pretty incredible. A two-week run, so I mean, what can we expect here on the set? It's, it's really beautiful. There's so many room to. Uh, the set is beautiful. Uh, you know what, the producers of our show have taken a, a great deal of care making sure that you see an exact replication of the show on Broadway. Now, do you ever uh, have a chance to put on any of that green makeup? Have you ever tried that out? <laughs> no, I've never uh, tried the green makeup on. It looks better on the women. I, it doesn't uh, look good on the managers at all. You don't have to lie to us here, <laughs> Steve. It's okay. Dancing through life, down at the this dragon up here, how, how much does that weigh? It's a, it's a big set piece. It is a big set piece, and it looks a little bit deceiving. What looks like stainless steel is actually painted styrofoam. Okay. And do you have a, a favorite song from the show? So let's start, because you've got an awfully long way to go. Oddly enough, there's a song called I'm Not That Girl. <laughs> not that it's I'm Not That Girl, right, but right. just kind of I'm Not That Person. I'm, I'm so, not that person. I'm not that person. Can, can you give us a little <laughs> taste of, of, of the song? You know, people pay good money to hear good singing. Because I knew you. Uh, they don't need to see me. No, no, no. Okay. Well, then c come here. You got to see yes. Wicked here at the Oakdale. That's yes. it. And, and, and maybe we'll get Steve to eventually sing on stage. Well, maybe. <laughs> There'd have to be a lot of money involved. I do believe I have been changed for the better. Man, Teresa was rocking out during that. She make was... you popular. Uh, uh huh? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen the show, no. have you? Oh my gosh, she knows the lyrics. How crazy is this? I, I, I thought you were just making song. up. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, well, you'll be checking out the show, and you should too. It opens wait. tonight, Toyota Oakdale Theater. I'm going to be checking it out. It's, it's here for two weeks. It oh, runs I wish you knew that. December 11th. I will. After seeing the show, we will have a duet, and it will be horrible. I mean, the, the uh. show is great, but us not. No, no. Head on over to oakdale.com for more information. Just get tickets to the show much better than our performance. Also, True. it is Jingle Mania, the season of giving. Yeah, we are giving away fun and fabulous prizes, including free pizza for a year. What's better than yeah, that? Yeah, season passes and gift certificates as well. So for the complete set of rules, all you have to do is go to the WTNH.com contest page and enter. Good luck. Well, now it is time for Companions and Homemakers Special Family Moments. And boy, do we have some good photos this we week. We sure do, Rye. Sandy wanted to share this adorable picture of her daughter, Allison, with her uncles, Matt and Jason, at her first oh, birthday party. How cute is that? Enjoyed a little sweet treat there. And next up, we have the whole entire crew, Teresa. This is a lot. So we have the Thompson family, which inclu includes the Smiths from Virginia, the Rizzies and the Shashas from Manchester, along with the Bears from Bolton, and the Baumans from Berlin. And last but certainly not least, New engaged Uncle CB and Diane and Uncle CB is 89 years young. Wow, that's oh, terrific. That. All Cheers. right, up next we have Rich and Nanny. They say happy 18th birthday to Nick. Hey, happy birthday. Way and to go, Nick. You're an adult. Hey, there it is. And uh, <laughs> in this picture in the back row, we have Matthew, RJ, and Barbara, and Jackie, who are in the back. And then their mother, Chrissy, and her fiance, Dave, are there in the front. Little selfie action there. So uh, cheers to you guys. All right. And Looking last, good. we have a throwback picture of Karen with her two cuties, Emma and Ben. I know uh, them. Who's that? It's the Velarde family. Uh, They're missing I'm, Chris, though. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get <laughs> them in next week. Chris took the picture. We'll, we'll do just a Chris Velarde. <laughs> photo next week here on CT Style. I want to thank you for sharing your special family moments with us. Head on over to the CT Style page at WTNH.com and upload your photos right there. We might feature them next week on CT Style.